the game you're currently watching me play is Killer Instinct for Xbox One, and I've posted up a video of me doing combos in the game. <laughs> I'm not the best player at this game, as you're going to see from this gameplay video. I'm not really that great of a fighting game person. <laughs> I really do love fighting games though. I love the strategy that goes behind it. I just I just love everything about it. So a little bit about what I'm playing is Killer Instinct is a fighting game made by Double Helix Games. This is a reboot of the 1994 arcade Super Nintendo classic of Rareware's Killer Instinct. This game is free on Xbox One so if you do have an Xbox One go ahead download it. The free version only gets you a one character per week and it alternates every week so you get a new character character to play with every week. You have access to online, so technically you have access to all the levels, but only when you play online. You have access to versus mode, but it's only the same characters fighting each other. You have dojo and practice mode, you have, and I think survival mode, and then that's all you get in the free version. Now if you do get the Ultra Edition, you get the arcade classic of Killer Instinct, you get all the characters, you get all the classic costumes, so these are all Season 1 characters. Also, if you guys want to expand upon Killer Instinct's list, they're going to be fixing the characters in this massive major update for Season 2 for Killer Instinct, which is no longer made by Double Helix Studios. They're just basically transferring it to the Season 2 of Killer Instinct, which is going to be uh, made by Iron Galaxy Studios. Moving on to the topics that I actually wanted to talk about today. Tokyo Game Show is around the corner. It starts on September 18th, and I'm so excited because that means more news on Kingdom Hearts 3, Final Fantasy 15, at least I'm hoping, and s new surprises that I'm not expecting. Maybe The Last Guardian? Probably not, but anyways, I'm just excited to see new stuff. Sony actually kicked things off with a press conference where they showed a bunch of Vita stuff and a bunch of PlayStation 4 stuff, and oh my god, they showed Persona 5 for the PS3 and PS4 was so happy that it said PS4. It looked like it was going to come out on PS Vita. They even slowed it down. Links in the description if you guys want to see all the videos of what I'm talking about. Oh my god. So Persona 5 didn't actually show any gameplay. It was just kind of like an anime trailer of a guy sitting in a train and... I guess some weird stuff starts happening. I really don't understand what's going on in here, but it's Persona 5 and I'm excited and I cannot wait, cannot wait, cannot wait. It's going to be coming out on 2015, most likely in Japan, so it means like we probably won't see it until 2016, which sucks. They also showed a new game which is Dragon Quest Heroes. It has been announced for also PS3 and PS4. It will be coming out in 2015. and most likely in Japan. It is an action RPG this time around and it looks amazing. It kind of reminds me of a Dynasty Warriors game and sometimes people will just be kind of turned off by that. Like, like, ew, Dynasty Warriors. You know, but this looks interesting and I recommend you guys check out the trailer just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Maybe I'm not really looking at it right, but it just kind of it's like you're fighting hordes of enemies with different characters. The graphics look amazing and it does show gameplay stuff. I hope it's actual gameplay stuff. They also announced that dynamic themes are coming to both the PlayStation 4 and the PS Vita. Finally a little customization for the PlayStation 4. Vita already had customization but PlayStation 4 now has customization or will be getting customization but no word on when we will actually see this update. <sighs> Sony. Resident Evil HD has gotten a gameplay trailer as well and it looks amazing. Yes, this is a remake though. So this means that this is not going to cost full price because it's the remake of the original Resident Evil. It's also coming out early 2015 and it will be coming out for PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, the Steam. So yeah, you get all that stuff. Also, in other news, at PAX Prime 2014, a Twitter guy by the name of Cyberland, I'm not really sure who he is, said that there was a closed event at, a, at PAX that he went to, and it was Rockstar revealing Red Dead Redemption is getting a remaster remake for the PS4, the Xbox One, and PC, and has even been dated to be released on March 2015. Rockstar also said, according to the source, is that Red Dead Redemption 2 is currently in development, that I actually believe. But take this with a grain of salt, because until Rockstar actually confirms or deconfirms it. So yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure how I feel about this, I, I'm excited if it's true. I want it to be true, but I'm not getting too excited. I don't want to be hyped up to be knocked down again. 
In more remastered remake news, Dead or Alive 5 Last Round and Saints Row 4 Re-Elected Edition have been confirmed to be releasing on the PS4 and Xbox One. Dead or Alive got a little teaser and had a little release date window of spring of 2015, while Saints Row 4 is basically getting what you expected. It's getting all the DLC, slightly upgraded graphics, that's it. But then there's also a standalone version called Gat Out of Hell, which is an expansion that is for Saints Row 4. Now you don't actually need to buy the Saints Row 4 game even though it does come bundled with it. If you get the bundle it's $49.99 and you get the game and the Get Out of Hell plus all the DLC of Saints Row for $49.99. Not a bad deal. You can also buy the Get Out of Hell edition for $19.99. It's a little silly. You can use your superpowers in hell the president, or I guess the character that you were playing as in the fourth one gets kidnapped, and then you can either play as Johnny Gat or Kinsey Kensington, and you have to save your boss, his soul from Satan while fighting hordes of demons in hell, and it's just, it's kind of wacky and weird. Links in the description of gameplay. You can expect the standalone expansion on January 27th, 2015 for $19.99. And if you want, you can also get the bundle of Saints Row 4 for $49.99, and that comes with both the Saints Row 4 and Gat Out of Hell Edition. And if you don't want the Gat Out of Hell Edition and you just want Saints Row 4, you can get that for $29.99, and that's with all the DLC included. So yeah, so in conclusions, remakes, remasters, rehashes are the it thing right now, it just seems to be a year. If basically showing proof that last year wasn't the year to release the consoles, it was supposed to be this year, because we're getting all these games on fall. Watch Dogs got delayed, Drive Club got delayed, every freaking game got delayed, and pretty much there was nothing to play but indies and there's nothing wrong with playing indie games but come on when I originally bought this console that's not what I bought it for uh, for that I can play on my computer I can play indie games on my computer or I can play it on my last gen consoles why do I need to buy a brand new console to see these types of games they're not only exclusive to this the console itself you can play it on other cheaper alternatives so this is why I'm a little upset with the whole remake remastered rehashes things they're a good thing for people and even though it seems like I hate them I don't really hate them it's just I just feel like they're not remaking the right games I feel like games that just came out just last year don't need to be remade yet Red Dead Redemption I think is perfect to be remade that's been out that's been out for a while now but you know it's not like last year or the year prior to that at least we're we're getting something that's old that deserves a remake in my opinion i don't really feel that sleeping dogs deserves a remake at least not at this moment and i don't really feel that like the last of us was too quick and even though you know what the last of us and grand theft auto kind of get an exception because of the fact that you know, they did come out last year and a lot of people saw that the PlayStation 4 and, and uh, Xbox One were coming out. So a lot of people just decided to wait because they were assuming that that's exactly what was going to happen. And they were right. So, yeah. And it seems like they got the better deal if you waited. So, but like I said, it is a money grabbing thing in my opinion. And I feel like we could have done so much better. So thank you guys for watching this episode. Thank you for watching me complain, rant, and whatever. And thank you for watching me suck at Killer Instinct. Normally, I do okay. It's just I haven't played this game in such a long time. You know, I'm rusty at it. So I'm just trying to get used to the game and the feeling of the game again. So that's why I'm not doing so hot. Thank you guys so much for watching. And Destiny will be coming out on September 9th. And that will be next week's video. I will be live streaming it. Don't worry. I'll let you guys know whether if it's through YouTube or through a video or something. I will let you guys know when I'm live streaming it. And if anything, I will post the live stream up to the channel. So you guys can watch Destiny for yourself. Just in case if you guys missed it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am your host, Will. And thank you for watching The Will of Gaming. Be sure to subscribe and like if you haven't done it already. Bye.
Indians here. 